to my channel it is time to get into some baseball it has been quite some time quite a few videos i know i know so all of my fo football all of my baseball fans i thank you guys for waiting i was gonna say that i've done all kind of other videos like football and I've done um, basketball and boxing and, and I've, you know, I've, I've, I've been meaning to get back to you guys. So here I am with uh, baseball. I don't know why my mind just keeps wanting to say that's because I did all the other ones a little too much, huh? Don't worry. I'm here. So with that being said, we are going to take a look at Babe Ruth. Let me put the disclaimer. There's no way that I do not or have not heard of Babe Ruth ever. So, I'm not saying I've never heard of him, but as I've stated before jumping into this, I mean, you can know who someone is and hear the name and not know everything about him or anything in reference to his career. So that's where I come from when I say I, I don't know everything, I don't know much more outside of that. So we're going to jump into baseball and Babe Ruth and of course I do want to state that this is two parts. So there's going to be, uh, we're going to learn a lot about him. So, there's going to be just this portion and then make sure you guys stay tuned for the second portion. But with that being said, let's jump right into it. Alrighty, so we have Babe Ruth and I want to make sure we um, see what he looks like. And I don't know why I clicked that. Let's go back. Here we go. So here's Babe Ruth and here he is. So that's what we're just going to be looking out for, paying attention to Babe Ruth in reference to what we are doing. So now when it comes to actually like learning about him and getting some information about him, we're gonna go ahead and go through the motions here. So Babe Ruth was um, George Herman Ruth Jr. So he, he was born February 6th, I'm sorry, 1895 and passed August 16th, 1948. And he's an American professional baseball player whose career in uh, Major League Baseball spanned 22 seasons from 1914 to 1935. That is amazing. So let's see what we have here. He was an outfielder and a pitcher. He was born in Baltimore, Maryland, and he died at the age of 53 in Manhattan, New York. Um, let's see. He batted with his left, threw with his left. He, let's see, what else do we have? Da, 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 da. He debuted July 11th in 1914 with the Boston Red Sox and his last MLB appearance was May 30th, 1935 with the Boston Braves. So maybe they went from the name Boston Red Sox to Boston Braves or Boston has two teams. I'm learning baseball. So Boston has two teams, maybe. I'm not sure about that, but let me know. Batting average um, is .342, hits 2,873, a total of 714 home runs, runs batted in 2,213, went to loss record 194, lost 46, earned, earned, earned run averages of 2.28. So, as stated, he went from the Boston Red Sox 1914 to 1919, New York Yankees, from 1920 to 1934, so a large amount of time there, 14 years, and then Boston Braves in 1935. So we have two-time All-Star, seven-time World Series champion, All-MVP, um, I mean, AL-MVP, AL batting champion, 12-time All-Home Run leader, uh, All-Era leader, six-time AL, I don't know why I keep saying all, AL-RBI leader, I'm trying to read quick, and to be honest, I don't need to read quick because I do wear reading glasses, but I don't wear them all the time, and I usually have on contacts. But with that being said, um, New York Yankees number three was retired. Monument Park Henri, Boston Red Sox Hall of Fame. He's got all kind of stuff that he's done. Um, so he's in the Hall of, uh, Hall of Fame in 1936, vote 95.13% into the Hall of Fame. So with that being said, that's just some information on Babe Ruth. But now let's go ahead and jump right into this. Um, because we have two part series here going on, so let's let's get started. And I, I, I the reason why I've really heard of him and I know of who he is or kind of just information about the name is I actually heard about Babe Ruth when um, 
I heard about him when I was watching the classic movie called The Sandlot. So that's where the name came from and the movie was like giving information. So that's where I heard of Babe Ruth from. Just to kind of give you a little bit more background on that. The greatest athletic feat in, in the United States is to hit a home run. It's a, it's, it's a wonderful moment where the ball goes off the playing field, you know, and, and, and everything kind of stops and the guy gets to celebrate. And, and that really didn't exist before Babe Ruth. He kind of invented the home run. Really? Nobody in the history of American sport has made the same impact that Babe Ruth made on the world of baseball. The inventor of the home run, a powerhouse who built the reputation of an entire club. Did he really invent a larger the home than run? life figure who revolutionized wow. his sport. He was a phenomenon. He blew it apart. He blasted the baseball apart because there was no such thing as a home run. Really? He so towered above everyone. There was no one in terms of sheer statistics and power that in, in his era who came even close to him. He was the first uh, major media star in American life, and he really transcended baseball. Yeah, Babe Ruth is considered first. the greatest ball player in the world. Look, there's a ton of great achievements in sports, the game better than he did. but I do love a good home run. That's for sure. So, did if he invented it, or did he really invent it, or did he just popularize it? That's my question, really. Wow. At the turn of the 20th century, the United States of America was a land of opportunity. But as a new frontier without history, it was also quick to embrace modernity and celebrity. America needed real heroes. It needed men like Babe Ruth. America is a relatively young country, and uh, we don't have we don't have like those folk stories. Like we don't have leprechauns here, and we don't have spirits. We don't have. King Arthur in the round table. We don't have any of that stuff. Sure don't. And we have tended to, to take real life people and make them our folk heroes and our folk stories. And uh, Babe Ruth for sure that. is one of them. He's the biggest sports name in the history of the United States. In the history of the United States, his what? His personality and his charisma were probably even better than his baseball playing ability. He had a, a, a face that could easily be related to he had an everyman sort of quality about him. He was um, not at all removed uh, from from regular life, and in fact, he had a humble origins, which uh, were a popular part of his success story. Yeah. And those humble beginnings in baseball can be traced to Baltimore, root for an underprivileged port city on the East Coast, to. where George Herman Ruth was born in 1895. As a kid, um, he had it tough. He did have it tough as a kid. His father owned a bar, and his mother seemed to have some mental issues, and his mother died young, and, wow. and his father died young, too, in a, in a bar mm. fight. He was constantly really? getting into scrapes in this rather poor town. He was ADHD. I mean, he, they tried everything. Gosh. They used to wallop the heck out of him, and nothing would, would fix him. They put him in St. Mary's. Which was almost like a common, like an orphanage or reform school or both. There was a lot of discipline and it was tough living, but it was like a baseball academy. So they put a bat in really? the end, and that was the end of the story. He was out there. Um, you not know, only rooting for someone you, you know, can relate to, shine but the underdog. Afternoon, Look at he everything had a that's bat in his him. hand, and by the time he left St. Mary's, he could play every position perfectly. He was playing um, as a kid. 12 and 13 years old. He was playing over 200 baseball games a year, which was phenomenal. Wow. He was hitting 500-foot home runs in St. Mary's as a kid. He was a phenomenon. His talents caught the eye of local club, the Baltimore Orioles, in 1914. It was there he earned his nickname, Babe. But just five months later, Major League Giants, the Boston Red Sox, came calling. And it wasn't his hitting that interested them. Five months before really they wanted him athletic to play guy. pro. He was about six foot two, um, which was kind of large at the time. 
and, and he could throw the heck out of a baseball. The thing not to lose sight of uh, is that he was a tremendous pitcher. He might have been a member of the Baseball Hall of Fame had he never picked up a bat uh, and become an outfielder in his life. He could play wow. every position. So he then they needed to him and made him play every day in Boston. Less than a year? When he wasn't pitching, he was in the outfield. When he was in the outfield, he was pitching. He was one tired boy. Man. He was hitting the ball out of the park. So people started realizing, wait a minute, this guy is such a tremendous hitter, maybe he just should play the outfield. His ability led the Red Sox to three World Series wins. Crazy. Like, first of all, I, I mentioned the Sandlot movie, and it's like, wow, I'm hearing them talking about his pitching, and and I had no clue, period, like, how he's just well-rounded and knew everything and knew all positions and even was a great pitcher. Like, the movie, like, Sandlot, they only talked about his batting. Like, whoa. 1915, 1916, and 1918. But his impact stretched beyond winning pennants. Baseball had been a low-scoring speed-based game. Ruth was ushering in the so-called live ball era. While the sport of baseball had been the national pastime since the middle of the 19th century, he changed the game with the way that he hit the baseball, changed it into a much more high-scoring offensive game, and this affected the game's popularity uh, dramatically. They, they taught you to swing down at the ball and to hit it into the ground and, and hit it hard and hit it, what? hit it into the outfield and, and you'd get to first base. Wow, but I had no idea they played the game the hitting towards the ground at one point. hit it to an outfielder and that would be an out. And he came along with a different swing that he had perfected to swing upwards. And he swung upwards, but he, he, and he hit fly balls, but he hit them so far that nobody could catch him. He could do oh, much more than just hit. No such thing as Why a doesn't anyone talk about that? Many. When he was getting his whole first home runs, one team collectively for the year had 11. That's something to think about. He wow. had 20, and collectively for a year, one team had together 11. What? So does that tell you the, the impact that the home run had? His form meant there was a growing list of admirers. Wow. The recently formed New York Yankees headed the queue. And Red Sox own. I, I have, like, his impact on the game was huge. Like, he's playing more than just, just offense, and he brought in a new swing, and just, oh my God, this is just so cool. Like, I'm so glad I'm, like, taking a look at all this, because there's so much that he's done. Like, I had no idea the things that he has done and, 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 and introduced and achieved and accomplished. Like, Harry Frazee was willing to talk business. He was the star of the Boston Red Sox until Harry Frizee decided that he needed money more than he needed Babe Ruth. I mean, part of that was also was that Babe was kind of a pain in the neck. He was oh. not your, your meek guy. Um, he was often, you know, into one sort of small trouble or another. Uh, he was always hitting Harry up for a little bit more money. Um, he was something of a pain in the neck, and so part of it was that Harry decided that I get you know, the, the huge sum of money he would get from the Yankees would help. Also, uh, it would be nice to get Babe out of his hair. Uh, Ruth joined the Yankees in 1919, mistake. and moving to New York would make him a star. But the Yankees needed the Babe as much as he needed them. Until his arrival, they weren't even the best team in New York. I still want to know exactly how he became the babe. Boston Red Sox to the New York Yankees. The New York Yankees had never won a championship, and uh, almost immediately uh, they were in the World Series. What? And they won uh, one within a couple of years of the babe being there. Amazing. One and guy goes York, to the it Yankees. It takes on a lot more import. Turn them into a championship team. It was the combination of being a fabulous athlete and New York being the media capital of the country. People ask wow. me, what if he didn't go from Boston? What if he went to Oshkosh, Wisconsin? I'm going to tell you here and now, I thoroughly believe it in my soul. My mother believed it in her soul. You would have heard from Babe from Oshkosh, Wisconsin, because he was that kind of guy. The, te the team didn't define him. He defined the team. <laughs> That's in fact, his home be, runs man. were saving baseball. Save in 1920, sport. it was revealed that Chicago White Sox players had taken money to throw the 1919 World Series. It was known as the Black Sox scandal. Mm. With the fans disillusioned, baseball needed a hero. The game needed a savior uh, after the Black Sox Jordan scandal. Babe Ruth came along. Before and, Jordan was you know, Jordan. Babe Ruth came along and 
the combination of his incredible hitting ability and his magnetic personality and charisma just would have been enough to overcome any kind of a scandal. He was he was just a superstar. Uh, before we used that word, uh, that's what he was. He underlined that star status in 1920. Ruth is an astonishing 54 home runs. Now, there are people who have broken his career on run record, but no one has ever dominated the hitting game the way Babe Ruth did. In 1920, Babe Ruth, as an individual, out-hit 14 of the 16 teams in the major leagues with home runs. The Entire man hit a lot teams. of home runs. He hit, he hit uh, 40 home runs, I think, 10 or 11 what? seasons. I mean, the man was a power. Seriously? What in the world? It's like the balls he a machine. Hit were so soft, they actually wrap around the back when they hit him. And he was hitting 400 and 500 foot home runs. Can you imagine the power behind that? Look at the power in those hips. See, that's where the power comes from. See how he, his legs, his hips totally turned. That's why I said when I sw I'd swing big and I'd miss big, well, he totally wrapped himself right around. When he came around with that back, he actually had a callus on his hand, wow. his arm, because he wow. went all the way Ooh. around, yeah. and it would take his body all the way around. And in 1960 and 1918, he was also swinging a 54-ounce bat, which is a tree. I think the biggest one now is 36, 36, I think. I mean, it's not, wow. it's not big at all. Imagine and the power behind 50, that. 54 ounces back. That's, that's how we did it. Wow. There's no team in any American sport more recognizable than the Yankees. No baseball team have won the World Series more times. But without Babe Ruth, none of that would have been possible. He made the New York Yankees the franchise they are today. The early years was that he made them into a winner. Starting in 1922 was their first pennant. He made 1922, them. 1923, 1926, 1927, 1928, 1932. <laughs> Not only that, but he those were He's seven like, pennants with the Yankees. He was with three pennant winners with the Red Sox. Total of ten World Series years. What? Amazing. Ten. Amazing record. What? Now a full-time right fielder, he Ruth just had made to get exciting, oh high-scoring and power-based. In 1923, the Yankees ridiculous. built a new stadium to accommodate all those fans who wanted a glimpse of the Bay. Wow. You know, if you look at any culture, it, this is just amazing like I, I have to stop it here i mean like they just built a whole stadium ba because of babe ruth because of his popularity amazing because of how much of a, a charismatic guy he was because how good he was and all well-rounded he was just this guy comes into the sport and just takes the sport by storm like she said like he didn't you know the team didn't make him he made the team didn't matter where he went what he did he just was just that freaking good how amazing. With that being said, guys, I don't want to create a long exit. We have another part to this series that's going to be up. Don't forget about it, guys. Don't make, you know, make sure you hit the bell so you get the alert when I upload the part two for Babe Ruth. And just this much so far is amazing. So stay tuned, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit the bell. Make sure you guys also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll see you guys next time.